What's good YouTube? It's your boy Austin back here with another video. So in today's video, I'm basically going to discuss whether or not you need to be in a caloric surplus in order to build muscle. And how much of a surplus should you be in? So my answer to that question is yes, I think you should be in a caloric surplus in order to build muscle. Um, for me personally, I find that I see better results in the gym and I start to see more muscle gain whenever I am in a caloric surplus. But it dep It also depends on what your goal is. If you're trying to build muscle and lose fat, that can be kind of hard to do while in a caloric surplus. So what you typically want to do is first be in a caloric surplus, build that muscle, and then be in a cl slight caloric deficit in order to lose the fat. So you build that muscle and then you shred it out. You start to get leaner by being in being in that caloric um, deficit. So for me, I like to be in a slight caloric surplus. So that, that would mean about 200 to 300 extra calories to my normal minimum caloric intake. So what you can do is simply go on the internet, type in daily caloric intake calculator, and you put in your age, your weight, your height, and your gender, and you know your activity level, whether you're active or sedentary, and then it calculates how many calories you're pretty much burning throughout the day. So for example, let's say you were 18, you're a male, 180 pounds, and you had an active lifestyle. That would put you at about 23, 2300 calories. So that would mean if you, you're you basically burning 2300 calories by just sitting, right? So in order to build that muscle, you're gonna need a slight caloric surplus in order to you know build the muscle that you want so by use by saying 2300 calories you want to increase that amount to about 2500 to 2600 calories in order to see better results in the gym so essentially a caloric surplus is going to be needed that's my answer other scientists say you don't need it but for me personally i've seen the best results in a caloric surplus now Tip, this does not mean that you go on a complete rampage because I said you need to be in a caloric surplus. That's not what I'm saying right here. You wanna be in a slight caloric surplus. Now don't go off, run, get six Big Macs and then you're like, gains. Nah, it's not, it's not gonna happen like that. You still have to make sure to get your macros and you still have to make sure to get your protein, your carbs and your fat while incorporating high protein, fruits and veggies, all of these things in order to see the best results while being in a slight caloric surplus. So a key thing that will really help whenever you're you know, tracking your calories, like I mentioned in my previous video, is investing in one, a food scale, so you can measure out how much you're consuming, how many ounces of that food that you're consuming. And number two, you wanna get an app that can essentially track how many calories are in that portion size that you just measured out on the food scale. So for me, I use MyFitnessPal and I invest in a really cheap food scale, gets the job done. But what I found is that by me having these things, it's made it so much easier. It's made it so much easier to track my food and I know at the end of the day, I reached my caloric goal and I reached my protein, my fats and my carb goal because I have this app and I measure my portion sizes. So you have to make sure to be disciplined and dedicated to making sure that you're measuring out your different meals, right? That way you can see the best results in the gym. So like I said, the best way to build muscle, in my opinion, is to be in a slight caloric surplus. I would say about 200 to 300 calories extra. And remember, make sure to check out that calculator, the daily caloric intake calculator online, um, just to see how many uh, calories you'll need to build muscle. So that's the video for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. So make sure to, to like and comment and subscribe to my channel down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.